हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज चैप्टर एलसीएम एंड एचसीएम वंस वी टॉक अबाउट एलसीएम दिस इज एक्चुअली नोन एज लोएस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल दिस इज फुल फॉर्म फॉर द टर्म एलसीएम व्हेन वी से अबाउट एचसीएम द फुल फॉर्म इज हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर now when we say the lowest common multiple actually this is a multiple first of all first point is this is a multiple second is it is common to all and the third is it is lowest if in case we take an example of the two numbers 6 and 9 now we are looking after that what exactly the multiples are multiples are basically the numbers which comes in the table of 6 Like six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, and so on. And this goes up to infinity. Infinity means the point which is not known to us, which keeps on going. Now, when we talk about nine, so nine multiple of nine are again the table of nine. It is nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six. 45 and so on it keeps on going up to infinity so these are basically known as the multiples of 6 and 9 so this is the first point that we should understand or we should relate it visualize that what are the multiples of 6 and what are the multiples of 9 now the second thing is common multiple if we look at the common number 6 is not common in these two 12 is not common in these two but 18 is common in both If we look at 24, it is not common. 30 again is not common. Here 27 is also not common. The next number which is common is 36. So we are saying that the common numbers which are there in these two are 18, then 36. If we look beyond it, the next common number will be 54, and then comes out to be 72. Or I am saying the table of 18 up till infinity must be common in this. Then we talk about the third point that is the lowest. All these numbers, the lowest number is 18. So this is known as the LCM or the lowest common multiple of six and nine. To find the lowest common multiple of six and nine, this is how we have to visualize. Now, if we look at the term highest common factor, again, first of all, we should know what are factors. second thing is we should know what are common factors and third thing is which is highest among them when we say a factor so on the number line whosoever number are there in whose table 6 comes so in the table of 1 because 1 multiplied by 6 is equals to 6 there is 6 in a table of 2 also there is 6 because 2 multiplied by 3 is also 6 in the table of 3 there is 6 but in the table of 4 6 does not come in the table of 5 also 6 does not come in the table of 6 also 6 comes same way now you can assume that which all tables contain 9 so the table of 1 will contain 9 the table of 2 does not have 9 the table of 3 has 9 and then the table of 9 has 9 so these three are the factors for 9 and these four are the factors for 6 if we look at the common term now so one is common among the two then third three number is common so the common number are 1 and 3 we can say the common factors of 6 and 9 are 1 and 3 now the point is which is highest among them so 3 is the highest common factor or we can say the hcf is 3 the highest common factor is 3 you can think of a term that is the lcm or the lowest common factor we can think of a term hcm that is the highest common multiple when i am saying the lowest common factor by assuming or visualizing this we know that one is always the lowest common factor so one is always is the answer for the lowest common factor 
same way when we talk about hcm or the highest common multiple here you can assume the highest common multiple of any number will go to infinity so highest common multiple is always infinity and that is why this term and this term never gets any uh, these are not the terms which are defined in our mathematics now now we come to the second part that where exactly the use of hcm and lcm are there in our questions on mathematics first of all we look at this example suppose there are 15 crayons with one person and there are 10 drawing paper we need the number of student who can distribute crayons and drawing paper equally among them if there is one student then definitely this student can take all the crayons and all the drawing papers again this is a common factor that is 1 and this is always true for all the natural numbers if I take number of student as 2 then drawing paper they can distribute among themselves but they cannot distribute crayons because if in case 2 students are taking crayons then first student will take 7 the another will take 7 and one crayon is left over if there are 3 students then now the crayons can be distributed but the drawing paper cannot be distributed because drawing paper are 10 in number suppose there are 4 students again the crayons and drawing paper both cannot be distributed among them if there are 5 students then each student can take 3 crayons and each student can take 2 drawing papers so 5 students in case of 5 students it can be distributed equally we can take another example for HCM if in case in a class there are 24 boys and 18 girls and they have to make some project and it is defined that all the boys are there in one group and all the girls are there in one group the boys and girls they do not intermingle with a group and we want the minimum number of projects it means in a specific group we know need the maximum number of students again suppose there is one student in the group that 24 boys must be having 24 projects and 18 girls must be having 18 projects so the number of projects is more and we are talking about the lowest number of projects which can be there now if in case we are talking about 2 there are 12 boys groups and 9 girls groups to be handled so the total number of projects will be 12 and 9 here if we take 3 again 24 and 18 both are divisible by 3 so there are 8 boys group and the 6 girls group if I take about 4 then girls cannot be distributed among them take 5 girls and boys both cannot be distributed now if I take a number 6 when I take a number 6 definitely 1, 2, 3 and 6 all these numbers are the factors of 24 as well as 18 but the highest factor of these numbers is 6 if there are 6 boys in a group or 6 girls in a group then the boys will have 4 projects and the girls will have 3 projects every project will have 6 girls so there are 18 girls every project will be consisting of 6 boys there are 24 boys so here we can say the minimum number of projects must be 7 and the maximum number of students which can be there in one group is 6 so here this is the meaning of HC now we will look at the examples for LC. suppose we go to the market this is a person A who goes to the market this is person B who goes to the market this goes to the market on every second day and this person goes to the market on every third day so after how many days they will meet each other when I am saying every second day then definitely he will go to the market on second day then fourth day then sixth day and so on the second person is going to the market on third day 
Then he goes on sixth day. So on the sixth day, the both will go to the market put together. Or we are saying the LCM of these two number is six. There can be another example. Suppose three persons A, B, and C are sleeping together, and they have made an alarm for six o'clock. His snooze time is. 10 minutes, here the snooze time is 15 minutes and here the snooze time is 20 minutes. So after how much time or at what time the all the three alarms will be together. So when I say all the three alarms will be together, I am saying that at 6 o'clock the first alarm rings and the snooze time is 6, 10 minutes. So it will be 6.10, then 6.20, then 6.30. Then 6.40, 6.50, 7 o'clock and so on. When I am taking the snooze time is 15 minutes, so it is 6.15, then 6.30, then 6.45 and then 7. When I am saying about C, it is 20 minutes, so from 6 it is 6.20, then 6.40 and then 7 o'clock. So we are saying that at 7 o'clock, all the three are snoozing together. Or I am saying that after 60 minutes, all the alarms will ring together. And what is this 60 minutes? This 60 minutes is actually the LCM of 10, 15 and 20 because this is the multiple of 10, this is the multiple of 15 and this is the multiple of 20. So the common multiple of 10, 15 and 20 comes out to be 60. So, besides these two cases, these terms HF and LCM are used in various different topics of mathematics which we will discuss in the next class, in the next video.